To support teachers in figuring out how to approach this unit, a document has been created with the title Unit Outline A Possible Approach, Economics and Political Interaction. This document lives among the Stage 3 support documents. This outline bundles together different Stage 1 learning goals to offer a possible approach for how teaching and learning might flow throughout the course of the unit. These bundles create five different chunks of learning. Notice how this tool is like a cover page, and each bundle can be examined in greater depth with the linked supporting document. Whenever possible, past lessons that were created by Jeffco teachers are linked. Teachers will also notice that some chunks include more learning goals than others, and teachers are encouraged to make thoughtful decisions about the time devoted to each chunk of learning. As a final note, we want to stress that this is just one approach and teachers are always open to use different approaches to address the Stage 1 learning goals for this unit. Last, teachers will notice links to various assessment documents that are meant to help teachers think about assessment throughout the course of the unit. The first chunk will probably be brief as it involves preparing students for the learning in the unit. Teachers should consider creating an anchor chart with the unit's concepts and essential questions. Engaging students in discussion around the unit's concepts and essential questions, as well as delivering a few other pre-assessment items, will give you a sense of what background knowledge and skills students possess. This also gives you a chance to help students see that this unit incorporates economics and civics. The second chunk bundles together learning goals focused on economics. Students examine the characteristics of traditional, command, market, and mixed economic systems. Through learning about these different economic systems, students begin to understand that specialization results in greater interdependence among people. Teachers will notice that hands-on lessons are included in this section. These lessons appeared in the economic study of an old Jeffco unit and reflect quality learning experiences for students. The third chunk involves taking this knowledge of economic systems and applying that knowledge to learn about economics within the Western Hemisphere. Through studying the goods and services produced within nations, students begin to see how economics plays out within an interdependent world. In this chunk, teachers will also notice learning goals that are tied to the personal financial literacy standards. This gives teachers the opportunity to engage students in discussions about the choices that individuals and nations make related to improving financial well-being. The fourth chunk shifts learning to goals related to civics. While students have learned about our nation's representative government in the past, they have the opportunity to examine an extremely different form of government as they learn about authoritarian government. When learning about authoritarian government, as compared to democratic government, students can recognize that the liberty and influence of citizens looks very different within these forms of government. While teachers may want to teach about a number of different governments, it's important to know that this learning continues in seventh grade with students learning about these additional forms of government. Sixth grade goals elevate learning about and comparing authoritarian and democratic forms of government. The fifth chunk allows students to again learn about the political development of nations over time in the Western Hemisphere. They have the opportunity to apply their learning about civics to the entire hemisphere. Students apply what they have learned about citizens and leaders to examine how different events, ideas, or people have influenced the political development of nations. With this development, the liberty and influence has also changed over time and place. At the bottom of the unit outline, you'll see links to different assessment ideas. The use of ideas was intentional, as assessment looks different for every teacher, occurs throughout the course of the unit, and takes on many different forms. One of those forms includes informal checks for understanding, such as observations, dialogues, and opportunities for students to connect the facts they are learning back to the unit's concepts and essential questions. Students should experience quiz and test items about specific, discrete pieces of knowledge. In addition, students should experience academic prompts, which are often much more open-ended and give students the opportunity to bring personal understanding to complex questions and ideas. Finally, teachers might consider including a larger performance task. Overall, two key questions drive assessment thinking. What assessments make sense? And when and how should I assess for different kinds of student learning? In the end, 
Assessments should always be used to understand progress towards learning targets and to determine feedback that students need about their progress towards learning targets. Again, look for the unit outline, A Possible Approach. There's a document titled Blank Maps of the Western Hemisphere which contains links to a number of maps that can be used in the classroom including outline maps that can be printed and used by students. Last, you'll notice that each section of the unit outline points towards resource bundles. These bundles have been established because they focus on common content and allow you, the teacher, to decide what resources would best support your students in learning content. Remember, additional resources probably already live within your classroom and within your school, so make sure you look there as well. If you haven't done so already, join your 6th grade social studies group on Jeffco Schoology. To join this group, you'll need the access code listed at the bottom of this slide. This group allows all of us to think collectively, collaborate, ask questions, learn, and share ideas with each other. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful.